Good day, my name is Destiny and today we are going to be doing non-current assets impairment. Every company needs to be wary of the manner in which they value their assets in the financial statements. Under and overestimating the value of assets should be avoided by all means necessary. An inability to correctly record the value of your assets will result in the financial statements being considered unreliable. So the International Accounting Standard number 36, impairment of assets, is thus applied. But this excludes inventories, deferred tax assets, employee benefits, investment property measured at fair value. So as a company, you need to be wary of the impairment of your assets. For an illustration, we have Pirates Limited. Pirates Limited is a delivery company. Pirates Limited possesses 10 vehicles with a value of $25,000 each. They are all depreciated at 20%. At the end of the financial year, Pirates Limited had an auction company to calculate the value of their vehicles. The auction company calculated the fair value to be 21,000 per vehicle, meaning anybody who was going to buy that vehicle after a year of being used in Pirates Limited, they would pay $21,000 with selling costs of $2,200. While Pirates Limited themselves expected cash inflows from the use of these vehicles of $5,500 in the first year, $5,000 in the second year, $4,000 dollars in the third year and 3500 in the fourth year so now let's go over the calculation of how we would eventually recognize impairment and how impairment affects our assets so the calculation starts as follows you're going to calculate your carrying amount. So you're going to go through your normal depreciation calculation. You take your total cost, which is 25000 minus your 20% times 25000 times 12 over 12. And that will give you a carrying amount of $20,000. But there's a rule that we have to adhere to in impairment because now we're going to calculate our recoverable amount. Our recoverable amount is the value in use versus the fair value minus selling costs. The rule that we have to ad adhere by, the higher amount of value in use versus the fair value selling costs, right? Value in use, which is 5,500 plus 5,000 plus your 4,000, plus your 3,500 gives you a total of $18,000 that will be made from the use of this vehicle. While the fair value uh, minus the selling cost is your 21,000 minus your 2,200, which will give you 18,800. Therefore, since the 18,800 is higher, that's gonna be our recoverable amount. And we have to ask ourselves, what is higher, the carrying amount or the recoverable amount? If the carrying amount is above the recoverable amount, then we have to recognize an impairment loss, which seems to be the case. Your 20,000 minus your 18,800 gives you 1,200, which will be recognized as your impairment loss. While if your recoverable amount is above your carrying amount, that is a good thing. So as a company, you would keep the asset at the carrying amount that was initially going to be calculated via the depreciation percentage of the company. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more. Like and subscribe to Pearl Lemon.